Today we are working on comparing and ordering decimals. So go ahead and write that at the top of your page. All right, so I want us to take a look at this decimal here versus this decimal right here. Okay, go ahead and read this one for me. I could I have got zero ones and three tenths, right? We're going to decide whether this is greater than, less than, or equal to, what do we have here, friends? 1,500. That's right. Now, a lot of kiddos see that there is two digits here and automatically think that that must be larger. Okay? So, I want to take a look here at our one right now. If I have three tenths, that would be three out of ten total. So, here's my one where I've got ten rows, right? So, three tenths of that would be three long. Okay, and when I have 15 hundredths, it would be 15 cubed out of the hundred total right here. and get 15 hundredths, hundredths. So I want you to go ahead in your notebook, write down three tenths, put a circle for our greater than, less than, or equal to, and then our fifteen hundredths decimal. And then I want you right underneath there to draw three lines for your three tenths. And there's two different ways that you could draw fifteen hundredths. You could do 15 cubes or little hundredths marks. And what else could you do? That's right. That's right. That's right. So we've got 15 hundredths right there. And I could, thinking about exchanging 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those for a long right there. And now it's crystal clear. If I were to break this up, I have 15 hundredths. How many hundredths do I have with those three tenths? 30 hundredths. That's right. So I could be writing this. And go ahead and write this right underneath. It's the same as 30 hundredths. They're the same right there. So we've got three tenths or 30 hundredths is more than or greater than our 15 hundredths right there. So go ahead and fill in the box, making that crocodile open up towards that bigger number right there. Yes, sir. Um, you, like, wouldn't you like the You're talking about putting a zero here? It, it's the same thing. Same thing. So I've got 30 hundredths. I could get a pair of bites some really, really strong scissors that could cut through plastic. How many cubes would I have if I cut all of these out? 10, 20, 30 of them total. So it's the same thing. Just because these are stuck together as longs doesn't mean that I changed or added any cubes right there. So it's the same thing. Three tenths. Is the same thing as 30 hundredths right there. Okay? Alright, guys, we're going to do one more. So I'm going to erase right here. And just right underneath there. I want you to write the decimal and draw me a picture of what each one of those looks like. So let's do. Five tenths, is it greater than 
less than or equal to I give you about a minute. I had to draw that picture and take the greater than, less than, or equal to sign in. All right, looks good, guys. So we had five tenths, which is zero holes. So we had five tenths. Did anybody draw 50 hundredths for your 5 tenths? Mm -hmm. uh, same thing. It would have taken you a long time. But then we had 0 tenths right here, 0 lines. So I just had 7 hundredths. So if I were to break these up, I'd have 50 hundredths right there. 5 tenths is greater than 7 hundredths right there. Go ahead and raise the roof if you got that. Okay, so one last task done, friends. I want you, right underneath there, last time we had, I don't know, we had three tenths, and we had fifteen hundredths, and now we've got five tenths and seven hundredths. Go ahead and write the list of those out of order. And then I want you to use those strategies and write them below that in order from biggest, greatest, to least. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four of them. And I want you to write them in order from greatest to least. I'll give you about one more minute on that. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and check. So taking a look here, all of these had zero in the ones place, right? Zero holes. So I go to the tenths place, which is next, and I see a three tenths versus five tenths. And the other ones, I've got one tenth here, zero tenths there. So if you put our five tenths first, raise the roof, and we followed that by our three tenths. So I used those. Then I'm comparing. I've got 15 hundredths or 7 hundredths. You got 15 hundredths and then 7 hundredths. So raise the roof, friends, if you got those in order just like that. Okay. Awesome. We will see you guys later. You can say goodbye. Bye. Bye.